Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be doing a clothing haul. Zapple sent me some clothes and I also purchased a few things on their website as well. I'm gonna be trying all of these items on, showing you how they look and how they fit on me. I'll have them all linked down below and they did give me a discount code. So if you want to get 18% off of your purchase, if you decide to get anything, you can just use the code TABITHA at checkout and it will get you 18% off of your purchase. So we're gonna go ahead and get into it, but before we do, don't forget to subscribe down below and give the video a thumbs up if you end up enjoying it and you can also come join me over on Instagram and Twitter. They are linked down below in the description box. First thing here is one of my favorite pieces. I'm obsessed with this greenish color. This is a top and it has like a deep V neck. It scoops kind of low, it doesn't look quite as low on as it does on camera. It just depends what bra I wear with it. And I just really, really love the bow sleeves. I've just been obsessed with this look lately. And this like sort of ribbed kind of texture on the shirt. I just really like this. And this is something that you could kind of wear all year round because it's a thin material, even though it's long sleeved. I can't wait to wear this because it's a little bit different from the type of pieces that I usually wear. I usually dress more casual. And when I dress up a little bit more, it's usually a dress or something. And I don't really have any like really cute dressy tops like this. Next thing here is a pair of joggers. These are just plain black joggers and these are like thick, heavy kind of material. They do look really oversized and baggy, and, but then they cinch in at your ankle. And I really like the look of these. I don't have anything like this. The other joggers that I own are a lot more fitted. So I really like this kind of like baggy look and I love how high waisted they are. They're very comfortable and soft. I will say things do stick to them a lot just because of the material that this is, but it's so comfy and so I feel like it's worth it. I just love, like I said, how high waisted they are and how thick and cozy and baggy they are. So next is another top and this is like a white, almost cardigan type of sweater. It's not buttoned up right now, but you guys will see in the try on how it looks on me with the buttons up and it has these really cute wooden buttons that I just love has long sleeves and it's like this ribbed material and it's like the perfect off-white cream kind of color. This is so cute. I love this on. I feel like I'm gonna be getting a lot of wear out of this. I haven't really worn this clothes. I did wear a few pieces, but I didn't want to wash them before I do this haul. So I have been trying not to wear them even though I've been really tempted to because they're just so cute and I'm really excited that I can get a lot of wear out of this one now that I'm finally doing this video. Next piece is a dress. This is a black polka dot wrap dress and I love this so much. You can't really see it on camera, but you guys will see it when I try it on. It also has like the bell sleeves that cinch in at the bottom, obsessed with that. And like I said, it's a wrap dress, so it wraps around and it's just so cute and flowy and the material is thin, so it's not gonna be hot for summer even though it's long sleeved. And I'm really excited to wear this dress this summer and I just love the cinched in waist and the v-neck actually isn't too low. Sometimes those don't work on me too well, but I really like this one. Another dress, I have wanted something like this in my closet for so long, just like a simple black like bodycon dress that's still comfortable and that's not like super short or super low in the front. So this is like a crew neck style, long sleeved black bodycon dress. I love the ruching detail on the sides. I don't know if you can tell on camera, but it also has these strings hanging down and it fits me absolutely perfectly. It's the perfect length and it just looks really good on. So I can't wait to get a lot of wear out of this dress. I feel like it's super versatile. You could wear it to all kinds of different occasions and you could wear it different times of the year as well. So this is going to be probably one of the staples in my closet just because I don't have just a simple black bodycon dress. I actually don't really have any bodycon dresses and I do like this style. I just want it to be comfortable and something versatile and so I'm glad I have a good basic black one in my closet. And we have these black oversized kind of baggy pants. Now this is not going to be a style that's for everyone. It's a little bit different but I actually really like how these looked on. They are a tiny bit big for me which is a little bit unfortunate. I think I got a size large just because Apple does sometimes run a little bit small but I probably could have got a medium in these because they are just a little bit baggy around the waist but around the leg and everything they're supposed to be big like that so that doesn't bother me at all. Um, I actually quite like the look of like the baggy wide leg. And I feel like these are gonna be really cute with the right thing. They're just basic black, so they'll go with a lot. I feel like these types of pants look best with like a fitted shirt, but regardless, 
I'm excited to experiment a little bit more with these because I don't really have anything like this in my closet. I just don't have baggy oversized pants and this will be like a fun change to step out of my comfort zone a little bit just because I kind of always go for the same types of things. Next shirt is actually another thing that's a little bit out of my comfort zone. This is a completely sheer top but I will just wear this with a tank top underneath and that will work fine. It is a leopard print and it's like a fitted crew neck long sleeve. This is cropped and honestly I really like how this looks on. I'm gonna have kind of fun playing around with this and just trying it with different outfits and stuff because I don't really have anything like this and I don't usually go for leopard prints, at least not in like my actual clothes. It would be more like shoes or accessories or something, but I'm really excited to wear this because it's just a little bit different. It's really cute. Leopard print is definitely back in and this shirt is actually really comfortable. So yeah, I can easily just throw on a nude or black tank top with this. Next is another top. This is like a two-toned, kind of like cropped sweater shirt, or however you want to call it. Again, it's like the sleeves that cinch in at the wrist, and it is like a light gray on top and a dark blue on bottom. So I don't know if you can tell the colors super well on camera, but I really like this. It's very comfortable. It's probably going to be one of the pieces that I wear the most out of all of these, just because it is really easy to throw on. It's cute and comfy and I'll probably wear this like at home or just if I'm running an errand or whatever. I really like this top and I think I'll get a lot of, and I think I'll get a lot of wear out of this one. Next is another pair of pants and these are my favorite pair of pants that I got from today's haul. These are like just a light blue kind of denim with really wide legs at the bottom. They don't like flare out like flare jeans. They just like get looser and looser as they go down. So it doesn't like flare out aggressively and it's kind of more subtle and I really like these. They're not short like the black ones. They actually go all the way down to the floor, which I really like because I feel like I'm more comfortable in these. They're a little bit more wearable, but they're still something different and kind of unique and cool. Now, these aren't too big for me. They fit me really well, but it would probably do me some good to wear a belt with these just to keep them up a little bit better. Um, they're not super loose or anything, but I feel like I do really like them super high-waisted, so I would just wear a belt to keep them as high-waisted as possible. I love like the random slit on the side and like the raw edges on the bottom. I just think that it's really unique, but still wearable at the same time. And it's something that I'll wear a lot. I feel like even though it's a little bit different than what I usually have, it's not as out of my comfort zone as some of the other pieces. So I really like these pants. And the last item that I have in today's haul is this tan teddy kind of sweater. And this is also like a cropped sweater. So it is really short, but it totally works with high-waisted pants. So as long as you're wearing something high-waisted, this is such a cute sweater. It just has a little pocket right here and then a zipper so you can wear it more open or you can wear it all the way zipped up, which I think is really cute. And I like how cozy it looks all the way zipped up. Cinches in a little bit on the sleeves, but nothing super tight, still really comfortable. And this is definitely one that I'm gonna be wearing a lot in the next couple months while it's really cold and I just wanna be warm and cozy. If you wear this in a warm house though, it can get a little bit hot just because this material is so soft and cozy and warm that you can get a little bit hot if you're in like a warm house or something. But if you are cold all the time, which I am, then this is definitely the perfect cozy teddy sweater. And I really like this one. So that is gonna be it for today's haul. That is all the pieces that Zapple sent me and then I picked up from them. So I really hope that you guys enjoyed today's video. Let me know if you want to see more fashion or um, haul videos or clothing videos from me. And don't forget to subscribe if you have not already. Give the video a thumbs up if you did enjoy it and I will catch you guys in my next video. Bye.